Virginia Republican George Allen, former Governor Allen, is in for a hard fight, though. In the most recent poll, dead heat with Democrat Tim Kaine. Uh, Kaine leading by just a percentage point. He, we did reach out to Kaine's office. We have as yet to hear back. Um, all right, so, Governor, Senator, um, what about that prospect, taking the Senate? Well, I think there's a good opportunity. We need good candidates, and we need support from all over the country. Our race in Virginia is one between two different uh, points of view. Tim Kaine was the handpicked chairman of the Democratic National Committee and has been with President Obama on every significant issue, from Obamacare to these counterproductive punishing energy policies. He's in favor of raising taxes on small business owners in the midst of this recession, which is what he tried to repeatedly but, do but as governor. You, so, you and, are giving it a big fight now, and yeah. it's a close race. It's one of the more closely watched races and close races, period, in the country. But um, if, there, if the Republicans were fortunate enough uh, for you to seize the, the, this seat and take the majority, uh, but the president wins re-election, um, what then? What are we looking at for four years? Well, uh, hopefully whomever runs, whoever our nominee ultimately is, will embrace what we're putting forward was a very positive, constructive, proven solutions and achievable reforms. We have it called, we've called it the blueprint for America's comeback. And it means we need to have more competitive tax policy so there's more jobs and investment. Would you get more sympathy from Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich on that count? I'm, I'm for whoever runs strongest in Virginia, Neil. So you're not in the crowd that says anyone but Newt, because some of his old colleagues are saying, you know, he isn't all that. We're running our own campaign and uh, putting forward positive ideas on energy and reasonable regulations to make sure that more, more young people, especially those graduating from college these days, have the opportunity to pursue their dreams. And so you've got to play tenacious defense against bad ideas and, and what's harming our country right now in a variety of ways, uh, especially small businesses, and say, all right, here's how we can see America, envision a more positive future for America, and we don't have to be accepting these diminished expectations. Well, what do you make of the Occupy Wall Streeters view that uh, there are diminished expectations for America? I had a young lady on here a little while ago said, we're going to target ports, we're going to go after shipping, we're going to go after the one percenters, because I guess they live at sea. But, but, but you know what I mean? That, that this is the new mantra. Well, the new mantra ought to be America's uh, not a country of diminished expectations. The good news is, Neil, and all your viewers, is that there are positive, constructive ideas. We ought to be reducing the taxes on job-creating businesses to make our country more competitive for investment and jobs. We're number one in the world when it comes to energy resources. If we unleashed them, the people who benefit the most would not just be the hundreds of thousands of people getting good-paying jobs, but it's lower and middle-income working families who are the ones punished the most by these unnecessarily high gasoline. So, what do you think when prices? we have Wall Street guys here who are offering jobs, interviews to those protesting on the street to get a job, and a lot of them? They don't want the job. They don't even want the interview. Well, that may be their choice. Susan and I look at the future through the eyes of our children. Our oldest daughter graduated from college last year. We have a son who's a junior uh, in college right now and an eighth grader. And young people are having a heck of a tough time. It's the worst job market for young people. And there's underemployment where people aren't fully utilizing their talents. I think America needs to be that land of opportunity okay. for all. And those who want to diminish it, they can. But I think most Americans want a positive future. George Allen, 